Here we have Agrasuko number one. I'm sure I probably butchered that name. This is outside of my wheelhouse, but I do see why we have this in our pick for last call. This is an anime type book based off a Netflix series. And we know how some of those fanfare, especially those cartoon books. I'm not saying this is the next Rick and Morty, but this is one book to maybe pay attention for because it might fall under people's radar. And some of those shows have really big cult filings. This has two covers for it as well. But Jack, what about this book? Well, you know, Brian, it's funny you mentioned Rick and Morty, and it's a dangerous comparison to make because of the success of Rick and Morty, both on a pop culture level and within the comics. But it's really the true comparison to make here. Now, we're not saying that this book is going to achieve that kind of levels of success, but it, it is in that wheelhouse of a book that it is by a popular, it's of a popular cult franchise, something that mainstream comic collectors aren't going to pay attention to. Now, this isn't Brian and my cup of tea. Um, this is not the type of book we usually cover. This was a lighter week, but we wanted to highlight a book um, through all of our years of investing and looking at modern comics that we've done well with, um, some of these outside the the box picks, and this is a great book to highlight because the average comic buyer, I think a lot of comic shops are going to ignore this one. Um, I'm not a big anime manga guy. I don't know much about it, honestly, at all. But what I do know is when I'm shopping for Funko Pops, I see these licensed Funko Pops all the time. Um, I see the products in stores. I see the products at comic conventions. I know that this is a... Um, a popular manga that has a like I think a three-year running Netflix um, licensed show um, that's done very very well and it looks like products are going to continue to come out. Uh, there was a lot of fanfare surrounding the announcement of this series, and again, Omnipress, this the actual publisher who makes Rick and Morty is making this series. So, can they get lightning in a bottle twice? Probably not, but honestly. This is a book that could easily be a $15 book because it just the supply outweighs the demand, especially if the true fans of this property aren't aware that this comic is releasing. They will buy it up after release and the aftermarket will go up. Yeah, it's always weird to watch that pattern because a lot of people pick up books yeah. waiting for something to be optioned when here you have it in the reverse. But either way, there's a fan base out there. Only press from my experience, especially if you're looking to like resale or however you want to look at, there's uh, come out hot, but then they kind of fizzle out. But either way, this is one thing that some readers or viewers, they might even be fans of the show and not aware that there's a comic book that's coming out for it, but it's hitting final cutoff this Monday night.